Hi everyone, this is Spray Art Guy and welcome to my latest spray paint video. This one is called Galaxy Forest. If you follow me on Instagram or you've seen my YouTube channel before, you'll have seen this painting many times. So today I'm going to show you how I do this, not on canvas, but on A3 gloss paper. Hope you enjoy it. And please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you like spray paint art, if you want to try it yourself, or if you just like watching how these spray paint works are created. The paint I'm using for this is blue cans from Rustoleum and some colours from Montana Gold. For this painting, you only need about five or six different colours in total, including black and white. Okay, so to get the stars onto the background, I'm spraying some white onto my fingertips, flicking them onto the paper from about 30 centimetres away using either my middle finger or index finger. You can do this with a palette knife, spraying the paint directly onto the knife and flicking it. I just prefer doing it with my hands. I find it as if the stars look better if you do it that way. Totally up to you though. Always sign your paintings when you're doing them. Do it when the paint's wet. The tool I'm using here is a, a palette knife. You'll just see me scratch my name at the bottom left hand corner. Spray Art Guy. Now it's time to add in the trees. I'm going to spray some black paint onto another piece of paper, gloss paper, the same as what we're painting on. Get a big dollop of it there, and then I'm using a small sized fan brush. Completely cover it in black paint. And first of all, we're going to paint in the lines for the trees where you want them to go. And we're going to do that for every single tree that you want to appear in your paint. Why am I stopping? Come on, paint it, hurry up. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Ah, look, there's a little, a little bit of paper has got onto our paint. That's no problem, just flick it off your palette knife and careful not to scratch the paint. This happens. Come on, off you get. Go, 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 go. Bye bye. There we go. Now back to painting the trees.
Okay, now to paint the branches and the leaves for the trees, we're going to use the same fan brush and just take the tip of it and start at the top. And as you're working your way down, just dab the top of the trees where you want the leaves and the branches to go, and as you're going further down, use more of the fan brush to get wider branches and leaves. Look, see, there we go, getting wider as you get to the bottom. step once you're finished once you're happy once you're not going to paint anymore is to cover the whole painting in gloss clear coat which is this so what I usually do is give it a coating from left to right all the way up the paper and then the same coating from top to bottom and what this gives it gives it a nice shine if you're framing it or just putting up on your wall as is this will make it look a lot nicer Here is the finished painting. If you like it, please leave a like down below. Comment if you want me to do any other paintings that you've got ideas for. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I've got lots more videos in the pipeline and lots on my YouTube channel already. Thank you very much. This is Spray Art Guy, signing out.